This is Lifestyle Magazine with your host, Roy Ice, and key experts, Mike Tucker, Dr. Sharmini Long, Lionel LaMountain, and Marie Mitchell. Hi, I'm Roy Ice, and we'd like to invite you to watch a brand new season of the award-winning Lifestyle Magazine. Joining us today is French Stewart. With credits like Third Rock from the Sun and Mom, French has brought laughter to homes all over the country. Man, I'm so excited to be able to have you here in the studio. Well, you won't in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the guests on this show constantly amaze me and they inspire me, but they also inform me. One of the records that you hold is probably the most impressive to me personally. How is it that you were able to maintain four decades of playing in the NFL? Well, I'm a one-trick pony, so <laughs> I couldn't find anything else to do. <laughs> Something in the back of my head said, this is it, this is the next one. Why is this young man speaking in this strange voice? <laughs> so if you don't do something to interfere, you're, you're actively participating in the death. And that's the part I'm having a problem with. Whenever they called cut for any reason, she didn't look in the mirror, she didn't go to her dressing room, she went right back to her starting position, position to start again. I, I love live television and I love hosting and dancing on that show was a great opportunity for me to connect with America and connect with an audience yeah. in a different way. I think that's why people love that show because it's sort of uncensored and yeah. it's just you and you and, and your partner out there alone and um, people really get a chance to know um, people in the industry that we think we know about. I fly trapeze. You see a lot of that in Cirque du Soleil. And I have, I have a trapeze at the end of my driveway. What? Doesn't everyone? What? <laughs> yeah, in, in Hollywood, you know. <laughs> You're an amazing father. Where did you learn that? Uh, I guess uh, training horses, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I always had this feeling that as long as I was making other people happy, it would make me happy, and you know what? It worked. CP, it's not because they're stupid or not intelligent. They just, it's there. They just can't deliver it. I had a girlfriend that I loved so much, and at one point she told me, she said, you know, I'm an alcoholic. Mm. I said, you are. I said, well, don't be. <laughs> we will dive into some hot topics. I always was waiting for my dad to explode mm -hmm. on my brother, especially, or in the house or on my mom. Wasn't a lot of safety anywhere. Try that on a, on a child. Try that with anybody. That's a rough place to be. I remember when he was little, I was like, oh, I hope he learns how to read. I was so excited. <laughs> when, I was like, he can read, he can read. My character on General Hospital used to wear these black leather pants, and that seemed to get a lot of fan reaction. <laughs> sometimes informational. Bird doesn't land on the branch because it trusts the tree. I asked, what happens when you disagree? How do you resolve the conflict? And you said? It's my fault. There are more fatalities through drowsy driving than medicated or drunk driving combined. But when you really, when I really realize how that role impacted women, yes, it and makes me important. feel very, very good. Sometimes a little controversial. Now you're in a hospital environment that wants you in and wants you out because they want yeah. money. That's just what it's about. I didn't have a backup plan. Thank goodness it worked because I had no backup plan. I don't know whether I'm on key or not. Yeah, is I that, just sing out. You just sing out. Don't ask me to. She heard that song coming down the corridor. She thought about his faith and during that song, knelt down and prayed. How cool is that, you know? Oh, you think you're famous now? Well, the cat box needs cleaning. Get yeah. in there. You know, that's how it was. But always to help you live your best life possible. Sharon really helped, helped me to be a dad. Mm. Helped show me what was important. And she had a great dad as an example. I had a wonderful dad as an example. It was like going back in time, kind of. I went into that Olympics strategically, mm -hmm. saying that if I could be top three mm -hmm. in figures, short and long, um, I couldn't be beaten. If anything, people would want to gear you up and send you out there just to show them, hey, it can be done. He wasn't suffering from autism. He was suffering from asthmaism. <laughs> He had so much energy and so much fire in him. Uh, he just wouldn't have been able to stand for having to sit anything out. The challenge is how truthful can I be in creating a real discussion? The only thing better than a, a, a good 
good example is a good bad example. They weren't the only yeah. person with Parkinson's in yeah. But she saw the, the humor in what yes. had happened yeah. to her that day. I just love seeing people have that sense of accomplishment. Don't let the success go to your head and don't let the failures go to your heart. I cannot say I'm Emmy nominated for anything. You've already scored above After me, this right? this segment, it's There coming. you go. do is just to give me that way. All she's got to do is just to give me that way. Don't go away because right after this, I have a few final thoughts. Hey, go take a bath if you need to. <laughs> Be sure to join us for a new season of Lifestyle Magazine.